So Donnie and I talking with the great Russo brothers. Donnie, you ever seen Avengers Infinity War? You ever seen that? Of course I have. We saw it together. Yes, I think. Uh, we did. <laughs> Avengers uh, in game. Good memory. Good memory. <laughs> I usually don't have a good memory. It's these guys. Russo Brothers, so honored to be with you guys in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Thrilled great, to great be here. Great to be man. here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah thanks great. for joining us. You guys are here for your new project for That's Amazon right. Prime Video, Citadel. That's right. Um, I am such a big fan of like spy movies, spy TV series, and so this is like right up my alley. So excited to watch it. Um, you know, I feel like watching the episodes, it's every single one is almost like a movie within itself. Yeah. It's, I mean, they're dense, you know, and it's really at a big cinematic scale. The storytelling is very layered. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot going on. You kind of you have to pay attention because it moves quickly. Yeah, and I feel like the cast is so great. Um, yeah. You know, I saw Priyanka in Quantico, yep. and you know, Richard Madden's been in Bodyguard. So it's almost like they were like tailor made for the roles. That's right. Yeah. In the in the show, and yeah. they're very committed to these roles. I mean, they really do a lot of intense stunt work. Uh, over the course of these episodes, and the, it, it it's almost plays out like a four and a half hour movie, um, uh, the way that it all ties together. Yeah. What's yeah. some of your inspirations? I, I see Hitchcock. I see mm. Mission Impossible. What yeah. about you guys? The Palma. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. You know, th the spy genre has been done so well now for so long. It's one of the, uh, our favorite uh, genres uh, and audiences worldwide. Uh, you know, the ambition behind this show was to bring the best version of it to Amazon, to streaming. So we approached it very much that way. We, pr we built the show uh, very deliberately uh, with a lot of ambition, a lot of scope. Uh, the show has a scope beyond what you may even be aware of in the sense that this is simply the first series in what is the Citadel narrative universe. We have, we're also producing a, a series in Italy and a series in India that are all part, uh, a part of the connected storytelling. They're all individual shows. Uh, made by different creative teams, but connected. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say because, like, you know, watching the series and you talk about Manicore and like all the different kind of syndicate arms and stuff yeah. like that. So it's really cool that we're able to see like kind of the other storytelling from the other parts. For yeah. sure, it can move in any direction at any time. And I think that's what's compelling about having different shows in different regions. Is that we're, we're, you know, uh, um, we're giving the you know the creatives in each of those regions just carte blanche at uh, you know coming at the story and, and you know, the, whatever they think is the best version of, of, of that. I love um, Stanley Tucci and Lizzie Mandel's He's amazing. Yeah. They're so great. Right? Uh, how cool is it? Two to great them? actors Two going at each yeah. other. I mean, you can imagine how much fun that was uh, for our crew to shoot, but just watching those two on set go at each other is amazing. Yeah. Speaking of connected storytelling, and I mean, you know this because you're, you're in Marvel, uh, I feel like a show like Lost, they didn't really think about how it was going to end the audience. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but uh, do you guys have a plan way that far ahead? We, we've know? learned over the years you have loose markers about where you're going to. You want to be, you want to adapt. There's energy that comes from the audience, the way the audience responds to something. So you want to be able to adapt as you go. The new ideas come out. We have other shows. Those shows may inform uh, the larger universe in ways that we're not expecting. But we know where it's going, but, you know, we're, we're loose about how it gets there. And the action in the series is amazing, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, really it, intense. You know, I think I read somewhere, too, that you guys said it was, like, um, not only one of the best casts you guys worked with, but, you know, like, the action in it is, like, really great, too, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we're, look, we've developed an amazing filmmaking team over the years through much of our Marvel work. Uh, some of the best stunt people in, in the business, some of the best visual effects people, designers, etc., choreographers. So, yeah, we were able to bring... Uh, those really talented people to sit it all to try to create something special in this space. Right. A little Bond in here as well. We talked about Bond. Yeah. It's kind of a Bond vibe as well. It, yeah. It is a Bond vibe, you know, but there is, um, you know, we what we try to do, if you look at the genre, it's typically sort of male heavy in terms of the leads. One of the big innovations of this show is not only do we have Richard Madden as a, sort of a classic uh, uh, spy hero, but we have a co-lead in Priyanka Chopra who is very innovative in terms of what you see in that space. So we're very, really proud of that, and it creates a new dynamic in the show that I think is going to be really exciting for audiences. Yeah, Casey and I were talking about that, actually, because yeah. I was saying normally when you see a series like this or a movie like this, like the male lead is the one who's usually kind of in control all the time, has all the knowledge, but it's kind of been reversed a little bit in this one. So it's great. Yeah, even more than you think because, you know, not, not to give away too much about the series, but uh, uh, Richard Madden's character's 
uh, his, his abilities have been compromised. Uh, I won't go into detail about that. So he's a little handicapped as a partner uh, for part of the storytelling. Yeah, because even watching it, you know, in the first episode, you're like, oh, yeah, like, she already seems like she's a little bit more, like, professional or whatever than <laughs> yeah. he is. So I love that part about it. And, like, talking about the, the gadgets and things like that, I love that kind of stuff. Um, one of my favorite things, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but like one, in the train scene, I think there was a lot of, like, cool kind of things. So yeah. it's like, how do you guys come up with that stuff, or do you guys, like... I mean, that's our incredible writer, David Weil, who, who is, uh, who's really conceived of this universe and is the caretaker of it. Uh, he's the one with, the, uh, with all the imaginative ideas. Yeah. yeah. But the, the, the show, the, the, the primary part of this show is slet, set in the slight future, so we were able to do a lot of research in terms of future tech, what's, what's in the works, what's being experimented with, what's almost reality, and sort of start to play in that zone. I love it. I'm so yeah. excited to see what's going to come up next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. It's great so far. Uh, I feel like uh, part of the history, film history of spy movies, location shooting, beautiful locations. Where all did you guys shoot? Got oh, shot all over London, yeah. Valencia, yeah. Spain. Yeah, Miami, uh, Atlanta, New York, Chicago. I mean, just go down the list. Like, there's a... Uh, We've had, we've had crews everywhere. We'll get to Austin sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Do, would you really come to Austin? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. We yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing place with a great film community. So. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Please come. City yeah. Hall season two, Austin. Okay. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and this isn't the only project you guys are working on. I was reading, I mean, you guys have so much There's a lot going up. on, but yeah. to be fair, we, we, uh, uh, we are chairman of a company called Agbo. It's a film production company. So... We have about 40 employees, so there's a lot of us working on all these projects together. We're collaborating with, you know, a, a great a great group of artists. We have um, an army of Russo brothers. Yeah, <laughs> behind us, we've cloned ourselves. I love uh, that you guys have yeah. just recently relaunched the podcast. We did. Yeah, Piece of Film School's back up. We have some great interviews. Uh, Zack Snyder, uh, we just released an Emerald Fennel interview, which I, I think is incredible. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've got a few more of those episodes coming up. Uh, and uh, you know we're you know waiting on Extraction Two, which comes out this June, and then Anthony and Aaron post on a movie called The Electric State that we're working on that'll be out in about a year and a half. So. That we directed, yeah. yeah. More Marvel in the future for you guys, or do you know? I mean, look, we love those guys. I think right now we're we're exclusively focused on uh, projects that uh, that you know at our company Agbo and that right. you know. One of the ones I was reading about Working that was really exciting to me was the Battle of the Planets thing. I see that everyone's talking oh, that's about. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. so awesome. I mean, How's that coming along? That out. It's coming along great. Yeah, I yeah, feel like really, that'll be another yeah. good one for you guys and building kind of like a whole it's universe a around. It's a huge, and stuff huge and uh, influence on us when we were kids. So important to us to find uh, the right way to act. But that's, that's one of the wonderful things about uh, our, uh, having this company that we have. We have an amazing team, and we have the resources to do real world building and spend put a lot of years into a project in terms of exploring what it can be and how we build it, how we bring it to audiences uh, in a way using technology that hasn't been used before, et cetera. So it's a, it's a long road on those complicated projects, but it's worth it. Right. Yeah. Shows like Citadel on streaming, you can invest time in it uh, for seasons. Is that the way of the future? Audiences seem to really like long-form storytelling. I mean, we've, that's something we certainly saw through the Marvel work, you know. So this show presents that kind of opportunity. Russo Brothers, thank you so much. For thank you, us. guys. Yeah, pleasure really to Really appreciate it. All right, yeah. thank you. That was a fun conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, great questions, you guys. Yeah, really. Thanks, great. Appreciate yeah. it.